Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and a happy new year to y'all! How are we feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm pretty sure we're all happy that the year is over, finally. Can't wait. But we can't forget that just because the year is over doesn't mean all the problems that came with the year or escalated with the year are over. Please continue to follow your local guidelines, you know, social distance, wear masks. Other than that, racial slash ethnic discrimination, religious discrimination, and gender discrimination, that's not gonna wait, go away either, and it's not gonna lessen. So please continue to support and uplift Muslim lives, Jewish lives, trans lives, black lives, Asian lives, Hispanic and Latino lives, indigenous lives, cause they all matter. And as we all know, all lives can't matter unless those lives that I just mentioned matter. Or in simpler words, their rights and freedoms are guaranteed like they're supposed to be. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. If that made you click off or if you're feeling tempted to click off, please go. I don't want you here. If you're any of these, please never come back. I don't want you here. I want this to be a safe space for everyone except for those because no, <laughs> no, I don't want you here. I don't want that. I don't want that energy. So without further ado, let's get into some DIYs. <laughs> I only did four DIYs. So the first one I did was this glass album cover. Let me show you guys. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> it's backwards. Ugh. As if that was supposed to work. Okay. Anyway, sorry it's backwards, but oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. I did Spring Day from BTS because that is my song. I picked a specific time. Most people don't do times. I picked 54 seconds because that's my favorite part of the song. It's in a break. I wanted mine to look like the Spotify Premium version. However, I don't have Spotify Premium. I don't even have Spotify. So I just looked it up instead and I saved the image that I found to my photos. I do not have the artistic ability to trace over the photo, so instead, I cropped it using Fonto so I could just save the part that has the title to the pause button included because those are the things I plan to trace. Everything else I plan to just print out and tape. So here I go into iPhone 11 Pro landscape version and then I size up the image so it fits perfectly into how I like it. As you can see, I sized up the image all the way and I also lowered the alpha just so I can see and make sure it matches up perfectly with the plain image behind it. However, please remember to turn up the alpha before you save it at the end. As I previously said, I wanted to include the timestamp of my favorite part of this song, so I made sure to put it at the top so I would not forget. These materials that are needed include oil pens or paint pens, a ruler, the frame, and the printout. As you can see, my tracing is not the best. However, if you saw the final product, please don't be discouraged as you do it yourself. You will make mistakes. It won't always look nice. Just keep going and keep trying. You could always fix your mistakes using nail polish remover. It's really great. It's really effective. And if it does look booty cheeks, it looks booty cheeks, okay? You're going to love it anyway. Trust me, because you put in the effort. You did it. You got it. Please do remember to trace over it again because it's going to dry and it's going to look transparent. It's going to look like you did nothing. Please do it again just so it shows up. You can print out whatever size you want. I just wanted my image to be pretty big, not too big, but big enough to be noticed. And then I put tape barely over the edge so you can just barely see it. Don't say anything about the smudge marks, okay? I do clean them eventually. 
There are no smudge marks in bossing set. You never saw anything. I really had fun doing this. Like, I didn't think it was going to turn out so good. So you can just use regular Spotify like instead of Spotify Premium. I only picked Spotify Premium because I like the little shuffle button and then <laughs> that button, loop button. I, I don't know. It's just really cute to me. Very gorgeous to me. The second DIY is hanging over there behind me. I did floating butterflies. By the way, the template is not mine. Please don't say it's mine. It, I looked it up, okay? I looked it up. I don't have any footage of it, but I looked it up. It's not mine. Anyway, I used two different colors per butterfly just to keep it simple. You can do whatever kind of pattern you want because it's your design. Well, your color design, not the template, but you know. I'm not one for precision, so I did not clean this up afterwards. I just kind of left it as is because I like it that way. Now it's on to the semi-difficult part. How to make it float. This is my mom. She is doing it because she's better at it than me. I do re-explain the method later, so please stick around for that. However, please say hi to my mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> I used a needle and I put the bead landing through it and then I just went this way. I poked a hole either here or here and then I bent it in half there and then I went through and then you can get rid of the needle and you just tie both of those together so it pulls the wings up. If you make it super tight it's gonna be like here but if you want like a little looser then it'll be like here and then you have your string but then you have an extra string so i cut that part and it hung To hang it up, I just used scotch tape, which was really quick and easy. I don't think I need any more tape to keep it staying, so I think it'll be fine. And the invisible string is invisible. You can't see that. But you can see how pretty the butterflies are, right? Yeah? Mm-hmm. They look nice, right? Yeah. Yeah. Comment that. Yeah, I want to see comments like that. The next thing I did was a pretty simple <laughs> DIY. I just cut a shirt in half and made it into a crop top. I did not have the energy to look for an actual safety pin, so I just used a bobby pin, and it's a striped shirt, so come on, it's easy. Then I simply just used fabric scissors just to cut it, and I just kind of left it. That's literally it. You're welcome. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the extra scrap. Maybe I'll make it into a bucket hat, because I haven't done that before, but I definitely want to try it. It was really simple. It's not perfect, but I like it. I don't really care, you know? I like it. I like it a lot. And so the last DIY I did was these beautiful clouds. I'm so excited about these. Like, you see how fluffy and... <laughs> As you've seen, like, I'm pretty sure like a lot of people have seen these. People have been doing a lot of like DIY clouds. They put lights inside of a lantern, like a paper lantern. Then they hot glue a bunch of different polyester stuff to it. And then they have it hanging. And at night, it glows. It's so pretty. But I'm like, you know, me trying to be sustainable, trying, not perfect, trying. I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to buy polyester. So instead, I decided to go on a killing spree of stuffed animals. Yeah. I didn't have a paper lantern, nor did I have the patience to find a paper lantern, so instead, I used 
let me get it actually okay i'm back sorry the camera is jumping so i used these super reflective as you can tell super colorful so i can't exactly tell you where i got these from it's just this store with a bunch of party supplies so they already have their own string attached but that was not gonna be able to hold it so they stick around using velcro and they're like huge right they're like these huge disco things and i thought my room would never be able to match this so i don't know what i'm gonna do so instead i thought hey we can do this diy thing and mix it with what i already have since i didn't really get to use these for my sweet 16. so i undid that and kept it in half but i'm pretty sure you're wondering how i kept it in half i used plastic straws sorry 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 don't attack me because you know i can cut them in half so that's the only reason why. Plus my family still uses plastic, I'm sorry, sorry. Laying it this way would be helpful, but I actually laid it this way because that's more effective because it will keep it open like this. And then I duct taped it down. So it will look messy. And then on the top part is where I went crazy with hot gluing all of the stuffing <laughs> onto it. And then, yeah, I just kind of fluffed it to make sure it looked nice and for the bottom i made sure to put some as you can see it's not completely covered yet so that's how i did that but it looks more dynamic you know like it looks like like a flat cloud like my behind <laughs> I was like, this is not the time so <laughs> yeah it looks messy because at first i had it like all the way out like connected into like a huge sphere which I realized was not helpful. So now it's like kind of bunched up. So I'm going to unscrunch it some more before I hang it. And I'm pretty sure you're wondering, since I said that the string was not good enough to hold it, how the heck am I going to hang this? I really don't know. I'm going to find a way. I haven't done it yet. So I'll update you guys. And I decided to use this kind of um, industrial looking string. It, it seems like it's like wire or something. So I feel like it's going to work. Hopefully it does. So, like you see, it's 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 on its way. It's tilting, but like I feel like it will be good. I just gotta figure out how to do it on the bottom so it will like hold. Ow, ow, it's digging. I will update you guys. I, it's just this thing took me a month so far. So far, you know that's the best part of that that sentence. Other than that, the butterflies on it um are not the same kind of butterflies as those. These, I use regular printer paper because I just was drawing butterflies one day and I'm like, oh wow, these are actually really pretty, but I want to make them all symmetrical, make them all similar, the exact same. But you see how wonky those are. There's no way I could recreate that. <laughs> so instead, I copied them. Like I put it through a copier and then I kind of colored them the same way. And I did the same for the blue butterflies as I did for the pink ones, even though I cut off the wing of this one for the pink one. And as you can see, you can still see the lantern thingy through it. So yeah, that just is fluffing to cover it. You know what I'm saying? But I kind of like it because with the light, it's hard to tell, but like outside of the light, it looks like so like pastel, like iridescent, like the little blingy thingies in the back. So I actually really, really like it. I'm excited to have this like somewhere just floating you know what i mean <laughs> i'm just excited for that but yeah i'll update you guys on how to hang it other than that the lantern method like i said it's pretty self-explanatory lights paper lantern paper lantern eats it like pac-man hot glue stick 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 polyester all over make it look like a cloud don't just make it round because trust me you think it looks good but then you back away and you're like it just looks like this round ball of fluff. That's not what I want. So then, you know, flatten the bottom a little, stretch out the sides. <sighs> and, that's how it's and that's your final product. So I hope that helped. I don't know about hanging it because I've seen a lot of people use duct tape, like a lot of duct tape to hang it because it's heavy. I don't know if there's a solution. I don't know how to do it on the wall. I haven't figured that part out. So please don't ask me about that. That's how I did my DIYs. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. You know, like, comment, and subscribe. Share it if you want. Save it if you want to try to recreate some of this stuff. And don't forget, I will be putting the videos that I did use for reference 
down in the description box down below because they did different methods i kind of melded them all together to do this and um i'm gonna spoil it yeah i'm gonna spoil it i don't know when it's gonna be but soon i'm going to do a room makeover so this putrid orange that's matching me putrid we putrid sis you'll have to see like my whole room makeover because i'm tired of this this orange and blue phase <sighs> time to let it go yeah so i hope you guys stick around for that video i don't know when it will be done because i'm trying to hide my room while filming and keeping up with my videos so we'll see so yeah like i said thank you guys so much for watching like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one bye